Otis Odom back to receive it for Reinhardt. Joe Knepper on the field for the Cougars to punt it away. Low kick. And drifting back, dropping the football. It's going to belong to the Cougars at the 30-yard line. An early turnover for Reinhardt. And not make. If you can't get a clear catch on the football, let it go. You want to get possession. You cannot make these type of mistakes in the championship ball game. He was fading back. He tried to bring the ball to him. And let's see how much wind continues to play a factor. You want to do if you're Marcus Miller. Make sure they know you're there. Ferrer on fourth down. Wants to step up. Big play here, and it's caught. Sean Boswell with the catch at the 10-yard line. First down. On that play. They had, uh, excuse me, four on that play. They had seven in coverage. But you see Ferrer climb the pocket and deliver a strike down the field into double coverage. And Boswell is able to get up and hop one. He could have made a play to try to get to the end zone. 22-yard attempt from the left side. And this kick is up and good. Third down and six. Hall going to his left. Hits his man. Hit immediately and thrown down. That's a good piece of defense by Spencer Coward, the senior defensive back now following the quarterback's eyes. Let's see if they go back to that play later on in the ball game. 30-yard try is no good. First down from the 20. Nick Ferrer working out of the shotgun hands to Justin Green. Look at the movement. And the Jets midfield and he could go. Justin Green nobody's going to catch him. 80 yards. Touchdown. Bounced it to the outside. He had the vision to see the bouncing and he kept his balance right there. He almost fell down and then the speed to outrun the entire Reinhardt defense. You had an initial thought that he might get run down, but he was able to outrun everyone on the defense. You see, he doesn't see it right here. He bounces to the outside and he has the balance and you see right here. He knows there's no one else out there. He looks back, takes a glance at Taylor Hawkins and then he puts it in the overdrive and he has those long strides. So that pushes him way back now. First down, Billy Hall got a lot of work to do with this Cougars defense bearing down. James Jamisic. On the edge, watch number 64. He goes outside too far, allowing Jamisic to get to the inside. McKellen Lanier had an opportunity over because the defensive lineman, the majority of the time, is going to be a better athlete than you are. Ball on the ground. Hall's got to pick it up in all sorts of trouble. And right now, this Reinhardt offense going backwards. You see right here with the snap, Hall runs into the back with the football. You've got, they just look really unsettled right now. Very the lead. On first down, Ferrer to throw. With time, steps in. A man is out there, and it's caught by Dan Rixey. Out of bounds at the 20 in the side. And number six, Taylor Hawkins got caught looking in the backfield. The safety has to do a better job of getting over the top and not allowing these plays to get down the field. Dan Rixey did not play much last season. He has emerged for us as Nick Ferrer's favorite target. He's only a sophomore. Ferrer fakes. Looking to the end zone again. Gets out of trouble. Now fires over the middle. Touchdown. Duke Blackwell. Watch Ferrer. He goes with the ball fake right there. He's got pressure in his face. He climbs the pocket. He allows his receiver a break open and delivers a strike to Blackwell. What good quarterbacks do? They find a way to make plays. Well, you see, he goes with the play action right there. That freezes the linebackers. Then he sees pressure from the outside and from the inside. He doesn't panic. He climbs the pocket. He delivers a strike. Totem. Reinhardt just has not settled into this game. Here's Justin Green again. He is not making it easy. If he's not ankle tackled there, he could run. The of opposing offense is 23% coming into this game. So far, St. Francis defying that. Duke Blackwell the spin. And he takes it up to the 44-yard line. We saw number 23, Trevor Carlton, coming with the blitz. He went right where Carlton came from. The safeties have to come up and cover up the area of the field where Carlton comes from when he brings that blitz, or you're going to continue to have open receivers. Fake it to Green. Ferrer goes for the home run. It's caught. And down at the 10-yard line. Black.
Rockwell again. Six Rocky James, when he was covered up, you see him right there go through his progressions, and he saw Blackwell streaking down the middle of the field, no safety over the top. He delivers a strike. How big he was. And I was here last year. You were too as well when he played in this ball game, but his size is huge. And once again, Justin Green, too easy. He gets to the outside, untouched to the end zone, too much speed. Nobody was there on the right side. He, he just ran right to the pylon, a clear lane. Absolutely. It wasn't like there were any knockout blocks on the edge. Treve Kane is the running back. Feed him, and he gets tripped up. Does not get out of the backfield, and the Cougars' defense will get off the field. Really making Ferrer and company work here. Pressure comes again on the edge, and again, they get it off. Duke Blackwell makes the catch. He's got it at the 42, but... And you see they rush four. They try and bring a delayed blitz, but Ferrer stands tall in the pocket. He finds Blackwell. Get up and press these guys. Block them off the line of scrimmage. Don't let him get a free release. Open again is Gegner, and Ferrer hit him in stride. Billy Hall fakes the handoff, now tries to get out of trouble. Not much work in here as he's taken down inside the 10, Eric Dutton. Francis is going to pin their ears back and come after the quarterback on this play. Here we go. Trying to dump this one off, and I'm telling you, they better be careful because this Cougars defense is coming right now. Defensive ends were so close to their late coach. Ferrer to fire once more, middle of the field. Justin Green again. Gets a block and inside the 10. You've got to be aware. You see him get to the outside, number 48, Dawson Mitchell, allows him to release. There's no one in the middle of the field to cover him. And once Green gets re the reception, you see him pointing out blocks and continuing to get up the field. Part of it, you need to keep this. <laughs> Here come the Cougars. Billy Hall avoids the sack and now tries to get it forward. That's going to be a loss on the play of about three. And a th James Jamisic. On the outside, you see him, he beats the offensive lineman with the swim move, but you've got to wrap up Hall. He's a long player. You see his strength able to break out of the... And now Marquez on to cut the lead to 10. This one's going to be blocked and no good on the extra point. That could be a big one. I step get right in between the guard, the left guard, and the center. And what you have to do as an offensive lineman on the field goal extra point, you've got to step over, you've got to spread your arms out, you've got to get wide. You Second down and 12 now. Here's Ferrer with time. And that's the first completion of this third quarter for Nick Ferrer. Chris Gomez Espino. And number 48, Adam Hoffer is right there, but you've got to make a play. On crutches, sophomore wide receiver, knocked out tonight. Ferrer stepping back, hitting his man, Dan Pixie. What a season Dan Rixey has had, the sophomore. Ferrer initially wanted to go to Zach Gegner on the outside, but he was covered up. You see him go through his progressions, and Rixey comes back to the football to get the reception and is able to turn up the field and get positive yards. Watch Rixey, he comes back to the football. He didn't wait for it to get to him, and he's able to turn up the field and get positive yards to try and get positive yards. Hall tries to take it himself. Harnish coming at him. And the Cougar defense not full. Tries a little bit as he came off the field limping. Wiggins back to throw. And the avalanche finally gets to him with Cougars. He'll be taken down for a two-yard loss. This one right, here's Stocks, and he'll be dragged down for a repeat national championship. Third and seven, and Reinhardt's going to be well shy of a first here. Instead, they're going to try and take a shot on fourth and six. Billy Hall lets go of it, and is it intercepted? It's incomplete. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. On third down, but you see right here, pressure on Wiggins coming from the backside, coming in his face. Pearson Harnish got away with one right there. He could have been called on that play because he took a shot at Wiggins after he released the football. Third down, hand it to Green again. Delayed time. And Justin Green gets it to the 22. Takes a hard hit by number 15, Jalen Holloman. But it will be a first down, and that is going to just about ice this game. St. Francis with an enrollment of just over 2,000. 2,300.
and 24 to be exact. The pride of Fort Wayne, Indiana. They love their football and Justin Green gets to the outside, now cuts it back. So exciting to watch to the 34. Keep in mind, he's only a junior. Which Donnelly took a little bath on the near side. It's the best ice bath he's ever had in his life, I guarantee it. The St. Francis Cougars are back-to-back -back national champions in NAIA football.